Let's do this. Hi, I'm JJ. This is cheap beer for you to drink. And uh, this is wild, all right? 100 subscribers. Who would have thought my my Natterdays review and then my Burger Light view and then it all just kept on rolling. Snowball effect. Thank you to everyone that's subscribed subscribed uh here 101 actually um but this i wanted to do a 100 subscriber special something a little different thanks to my fiance sarah thanks to uh, our friend angie for helping with this this is the cheap beer for you taste test and i think i did everything right all right never done anything like this before now i'm second guessing myself but i think i think we got everything right here i've got beers and cups that i marked one two three four I had Angie pour four different beers into these. Didn't tell her. I didn't have her tell me which is which. That is in this secret envelope folded paper that I haven't looked at yet. But I'm going to try to figure out which is which. We've got a Coors Light, a Bud Light, a Miller Light, and a Natural Light. And this is because I trashed uh, Natural Light. Nasty Natty. There's so many nicknames uh, for, uh, for the good old Natty in the first video because uh, I said I don't like Natural Light, but I happen to like Natter Days. So maybe I should go back and try it. And uh, the comment, La Tortuga Picante, I think you're the one that said it, that I should try Natural Light, Bush Light, and Bud Light. I didn't get Bush Light. I totally forgot. Maybe next time we'll review a Bush Light. But like I said, there's a Coors Light, there's a Bud Light, a Miller Light, and a Natural Light. And the Miller should be easy to spot. We'll see. Let's, uh, let's go. Beer number one. I'm going to try to figure out what it is, and I'm going to rank them and see which one I prefer the best. These are all ice cold, too. I'm so excited. It's a Friday. I get to drink some beer. Ooh. All right. Number one smells good. Ah! I already think I know which one. I don't know. I think it's going to be the Bud Light. Just by smelling it. Nope. Nope. I think this might be the Natural Light. I think number one's Natural Light. It's like a less smooth Bud Light. I'm gonna come back to you, number one. This is number two. Hello, contestant behind door number two. What's your perfect date? What is this? <laughs> I'm gonna be so bad at this. You will know I have not cheated because I bet I get all four of these wrong. I don't like this. I don't like what number two is. I've changed my thoughts. I think number two. One's the best one so far. Let's see. Let's go down the line. Number three. They all smell the same. I should have some coffee to cleanse my palate. All right, number four. I think I got it. I got it. I'm going to run down the line one more time because I think I got it. All right. Yep. All right, I'm going to write down on these little sheets just so I can remember what I say. Number one's definitely the Bud Light. Number one was the best so far. Number one was very smooth. Classic Bud Light smell. Classic Bud Light taste. If I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, I'm gonna feel like a, a total chump. Number one was the Bud Light. Number two.
Number two, I did not like as much as number one. It was kind of bad at first. But now the more I drink of it, it's not that bad. Number two is our good old friend, the, I must put Natter Days, no, the Natural Light. Number two is the Natural Light. Number one is the Bud Light. Number three tastes the most different of them all. That's got to be the, the, the Pilsner. That's got to be the Miller Light. If I get this right, I promise I did not look at that sheet. This all came about in the last uh, 10 minutes or so. They are off to have a girls' night. I said, hey, I got the whole place to myself. I'm going to make a cheap beer for you to drink video. That leaves number four, our Coors Light. Now, before we reveal it, let's put them from my favorite to my least favorite. And we don't have to do much. I'm just going to move... Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go one, four, two, three, which would be our, if I'm right, I'm sorry, this is getting confusing. If we're right, number one is the best of them all. It's the Bud Light. My second favorite is number four, the Coors Light. My third favorite is number two, the Natural Light. My least favorite is the Miller Light. That's right. I think Natural Light is a bit better than the Miller Light. Never been the biggest Miller Lite fan. I'll drink it, but I will hardly ever get it. If you're a Miller Lite fan, I'm not going to knock on you. It tastes a little different. I like it. Just not as much as these other three. Let's go. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. See if I got this right. Angie wrote this up for me. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm so embarrassed. I shouldn't even post this. That's how embarrassed I am. But I, I didn't get a single one right. And you know which one was my favorite? Number one, the one I liked the most was Natter, Natural Light. Nasty Natty, what? I am so sorry this whole time. This one was seriously my favorite. I'm going to start drinking natural light all the time. What am I thinking? Number two. The one I thought was the natural light. The one I didn't like was the Miller. Okay. I still didn't get it right. But I knew it wasn't my favorite. So I said that was natural light but it was actually Miller. Number three, I said was Miller, but it was actually Coors. Number three, I put all the way at the end. I guess I'm not a big Coors fan. And number four was the one I put second. I thought it was Coors Light, but it was actually Bud Light. That, I don't know what's going on. Angie, I guess I have to trust you. I, I have no reason to believe that you would steer me wrong. I got all four of them wrong, and my favorite was Natural Light. Maybe that's why I like Natter Days so much. Okay, this has been a mind-blowing episode. Big fake right here. Cheap beer for you to drink. There it is on my credibility. Got all four of them wrong, and my favorite was the Natural Light. I'm ashamed. This has been cheap beer for you to drink. The uh, 101 subscriber special where I embarrass myself in front of all of my subscriber friends. Thank you for uh, getting me this far. And I understand if you never want to tune in ever again because I couldn't even tell these four apart. This was a lot harder than I thought it would be. I've never done anything like this, and uh, apparently I'm not good at it. So I'm going to keep drinking cheap beer, and I'm going to get better, and we're going to help you find the best bang for your buck. I'm looking for my top five list. It's not right here right now. Um, I don't know what to say. Thanks for tuning in.
Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to join us here. We just drink cheap beer and talk about them and try to figure out which is the best bang for your buck right here on Cheap Beer for You to Drink. Thanks for tuning in.